Hello everyone. Welcome to Dive World Austin's step-by-step -step guide on the Mare's Quad. We use this computer in our rental program, so you're likely seeing this for the use of your open water course. Now, we're going to cover a lot of information, but for starters, let's go over basic interface. This computer is what we call a four button interface. Labeled enter in the top left. This button is used to select items. Escape in the bottom left. This item is or button is used to back out of any menus or selections. You then have the up button in the top right and the down button in the bottom right. These are used to scroll through different options or to increase or decrease increments. Now, computers between usages have a battery safe mode where their screen will go blank like this. To awaken your computer, just simply push the enter button. Once you have selected the enter button, you'll see that a basic screen will load. This screen is a non-dive screen, meaning that you are not actively on a descent. What it's displaying depends on the line. This first line right here is your depth. You're gonna see it's gonna display your mixture, in this case, general air, but it might also show things like nitrox mixes. On the left side, it'll show your active depth. In this case, we are at the surface. Here, it's gonna show your deco. Now, in this case, when we're not actively diving, it's actually showing the current time. In the bottom left-hand corner of the timeline, you're gonna see surface interval between your last dive. Now it has been more than 24 hours since our last dive on this computer, so it's gonna display like this. And the bottom right-hand side, you're gonna see the current temperature. Now when your computer begins the dive, you're gonna see a different screen than what you're seeing right now. You're gonna see a screen that in the top left-hand corner of the first line, depth, will show your actual depth that you are currently located at. And on the right-hand side, where it currently shows the word air, you're gonna see the max depth you've reached on the dive. In the second line of deco, you're gonna see the amount of time you can safely spend at a depth. Deeper depth means less time. Shallower depth means a longer time. This time will depend and change, increase or decrease based on your depth and previous dive information. The third line time will show you your total accumulated time for the dive. And this begins when you begin your descent. It'll show in the bottom left hand corner. This lovely temperature will remain right here in the right hand side. Navigating the quad menus is exceptionally easy. Once you have turned on the computer, you simply scroll up into the various modes. We will go into detail about what each of these menus can do for you next. Mode allows you to set the computer to air, nitrox, or bottom tamer. Ensure you have the computer set to air, or if for whatever reason you are in nitrox mode, we want to change it to 21% oxygen. When the mode is listed on the screen, hit the enter button. You should see air appear first in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. To keep the computer in air mode while air is displayed, hit the enter button, and then it will return to mode. If you do need to change it, let's say you are in Nitrox, while you see area displayed in the bottom left hand corner, you will actually toggle through the up or down buttons until you reach air display. Then you will select enter again and it will return you to the mode. Set menu is where you go to set the time or dive parameters for the computer. For example, imperial versus metric, freshwater versus saltwater, alarms, deep stops, dive times with seconds, and more. When in set mode, use the up and down buttons to toggle between dive or time, and hit enter button to select either selection. You really shouldn't be messing with this too much during your dives, 
but just in case you do have to reset the time, it's very easy. When you see the time menu, push enter. Now we wanna see AM and PM. If you instead see 24 hour, we strongly encourage you to change it back to AM and PM. If you do prefer 24 hour readout though, you may leave this selected. We're gonna go back to AM and PM though and push enter. If I were to select past this area though and scroll, you're gonna see first the date. It is in fact March 27th, 2021. It is also 11.43 a.m. So I feel good about this selection. If you do need time to adjust this, please let your instructor know immediately so they can assist you in doing so. For dive, we're gonna do a quick, quick through just so you understand. I'm gonna select enter. Light is gonna determine how long your backlight is selected. We usually prefer eight seconds. Push up. We're gonna skip past this because it's a little more complicated than what it appears. If you have questions though, we can always answer them in our free time. You would like to see fresh on your water selection. If you need to adjust it, push enter and toggle between the options of, well, that's complicated, but basically salt or fresh. We wanna make sure that we are set to feet and Fahrenheit. We wanna make sure that this is gonna be displaying seconds time. As you can see, currently it's turned off. If I would like to turn it on so it shows the seconds of a dive, push on. If I would like to just show me a whole numbers, you can keep it on off. This is gonna show that we have an alert if we're ascending too fast. Our deep stops and that it's an audible alarm. This will basically allow you to choose where you would like temperature displayed. This will let us know. If we are in runaway deco, let's scroll next. This screen we will come back to later, but for now, go ahead and push escape and hit escape again. Now, law can be a little complicated, so let's spend some time here. Push the enter button. Log is where you find dive log information. When you get to the log screen, hit the enter button and the deepest dive information along with the dive time history total for the entire history of the computer will be displayed here. Well, that's not really relevant to what you're doing at the moment, so let's go ahead and push the up button. When you do, the dives will be shown in most recent to least recent. Your most recent dive will show up as dive number one logged right here. It is going to show you your max depth. It is going to show you the date of that dive. Here you're going to notice your time in and time out are going to toggle. You're also going to see your average depth and average temperature toggling here on the screen. If you want to see additional information on the dive, which you should, you're going to push the enter button. Once we are here, you're going to see that there's going to be a little bit extra of action happening on the bottom line. Over here, you're going to see the surface interval between dive one and dive two. You're also going to see the total time accumulated on the dive. Your time in and time out, your depth and your temperature are still going to be toggling in the same areas, as well as your max depth being displayed here. If I were to push the up button, nothing is going to happen. Same if I were to push the down button. To exit this log, I need to push escape. And then you'll go back to that loaded basic menu for dive number one. Push the up button and you will see dive number two. Now, time in and time out will toggle. Average depth as well as temperature. Date of the dive and max depth. Push enter surface interval between your two dives, as well as maximum dive time, or total dive, accumulated dive time, time in and time out, and the same toggling information as before. Again, up and down will not give you any additional information. Push escape. 
Now repeat this pattern for a couple just to get a good practice for the feel. Time in, time out, days, average depth, max depth, number dive, depth. Again, same information, surface interval, time interval, accumulated time, escape to exit. If you have any questions on how to access and move throughout the log, please ask your instructor for assistance now. If I were to push the up button again from log, you will now see the room plan. Planning a dive is a very essential start and step to being a successful and safe diver. When I push enter from here, you're going to see a lot of different information and we're going to go over it all. Plan allows you to plan dives as a function of depth based on your current nitrogen load. When you press enter button for this mode, you will see the surface interval displayed right here. You can adjust this by pushing the up or down buttons and they will increase by increments of 15 minutes. This time can go quite a bit so we're gonna skip and go ahead and push escape. Let's re-enter. We're gonna leave this at zero because we have no loaded nitrogen as it has been more than 24 hours since this computer has been diving. Push enter again. You're going to see up here at the very top, it'll start at 40 feet. You will now see the no deco time for 40 feet in your mix. Right now we are using standard compressed air. You push the up and down buttons and it'll increase by 10 feet each time. You'll notice the no deco is going to decrease as well. Now this will be influenced if you have loaded nitrogen or adjusted that pre-surface interval. This is a critical step so you know where you must be done with your dive. Once we have done planning our dive, hit the escape mode. PCE is not going to be used with this, within this course, but it would allow you to download dives to a PC or Mac with a proper uplink cable. Info allows you to view information about software, hardware, as well as battery information. Let's go ahead and check the life of this computer. Push enter. Notice the battery icon is full. It also is going to have a toggling screen here that says battery is A-OK. -okay. That's great. Now, we're going to go over one last thing. If you are receiving this computer and you notice that there is numbers in the surface interval area, or while you were doing your plans, you had different numbers than everyone else around you, let's do a reset. It's not going to erase the dive log history, but what it will do is reset the nitrogen from the last time this computer was used. We're going to first push the up button, and we are going to go to set menu press enter. You're going to see dive or time. Please toggle to the dive screen. Push enter again. We're going to push the down button. You're going to see ERA up here and you're going to see 0000 and the word code. I want you to push the enter button. Now the code is very simple. It is going to be one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four, and again, enter. You will have one, two, three, four. It'll ask you if that's okay, and it will erase.